Welcome back. Imagine if you were driving along the interstate and you saw this. Someone got video of an avalanche on Copper Mountain in Colorado. Some cars had to be dug out of the snow pile. A second avalanche happened that day in the same general area. The good news is they, there weren't any reports of anyone getting hurt or trapped. The avalanches did close part of Interstate 70. Wow. I can't imagine <laughs> seeing that happening right in front of you. That's pretty scary. I think scary. he's reversing what, right now. Yeah, what do you do? I mean, I would assume, obviously, stop, pull over. Right. right? I, I, I mean, that Hope for the best? Got... I mean, what do you do? Hope for the best is, is <laughs> probably the option. Well, I mean, you saw the video there. You see the cars ahead of him just getting swallowed oh, up. Oh, my in goodness. Oh, there it goes. Wow. So, yeah, pretty frightening stuff, I would Interesting think. Interesting sight as you're driving along. It's like, well, here it comes. Uh, what do I do now? Yeah, I think that's kind of a lot of people right now on the roads yeah, out there. They're it's just bad. like, oh, this isn't great. Yeah. No, it, it's bad. And it continues this morning uh, with our uh, road report uh, problems that we have there in the central South Dakota. Also in the parts of eastern, southeastern Kettle Land with some of those finger drifts continuing with our northwest winds at 15 to 20 miles per hour. Some of those gusts near 30 miles per hour in south central South Dakota. But at least we